Okay, so here it is being asked that in a hockey match, both teams A and B scored the same number of goals up to the end of the game. And so as to decide the winner, the referee asked both the captains to throw a die alternately and decided that the team whose captain gets a six first will be declared the winner. If the captain of team A was asked to start, find their respective probabilities of winning the match and state with whether the decision of the referee was fair or not. So, the rule is that if, if the probabilities of winning of the team A, that is same as the... It means that... The rule is that if the probability of winning of the team A is same as the probability of winning of team B winning of team B then only I can tell then only we can say that the decision of the referee was fair the decision of the referee uh, is fair else the decision is not fair else the decision is unfair so we have to check if the probability of winning of the team A is same as the probability of winning of the team B or not so uh, here A was asked to start and it is told that whoever gets the six first will declare the winner so therefore the probability of getting six in a die the probability of getting six in a fair die in a fair die that would be one by six obviously so therefore let a be the event let a be the event that a wins means a gets a six a gets a six in the die and b is the event that b gets a six in the die so therefore the probability of getting six is one by six so the probability of winning of the team a probability of winning of the team a is is the probability so therefore i can say from here the probability that a gets a six let's say it is event a so p of a that will be one by six and then p of a complement means that will be five by six uh, it means the probability that a does not get a six will be five by six and similarly the probability that b gets a six that is one by six and the probability that b does not get a six that is also five by six so therefore the probability of winning of the team a given that a starts that would be p of a plus the p of a complement times the probability of b complement times the probability of a plus it can be the probability that a does not get a six and then b also does not get a six and then again a also does not get a six then again b also does not get a six then a gets a six a gets a six and so on it will go till infinity so therefore this will be the probability that a gets a six so that would be one by six plus p of a complement is five by six times the p of b complement that is five by six again so then times one by six plus this would be again five by six into five by six into five by six into five by six into one by six plus till infinity it is going so this is obviously an infinite gp this is obviously an infinite geometric progression where the first term is 1 by 6 a is equal to 1 by 6 and the second and the common ratio is 5 by 6 into 5 by 6 
So therefore, the sum of an infinite GP that is A by 1 minus R, A by 1 minus R, S infinity. So that is, so that will be 1 by 6 divided by 1 minus 5 by 6 into 5 by 6. So this would be 1 by 6 by, this is 36, then 36 minus 25. So this would be 1 by 6 into 36 by, this would be 11. So 6, 6, 36, that is 6 by 11. So therefore, the probability that A wins, that is 6 by 11. And if A does not win, then obviously B should win. Therefore, the probability that A, that team A loses, team A loses, that is same as the probability that team A wins. Team A sorry team b wins the probability that team b wins so that will be one minus the probability that a wins team a wins so that is one minus six by eleven so that is five by eleven so hence here we can see that the probability of a winning the game team a winning the game the hockey match that is not same as the probability that of B winning the match, of B winning the hockey match. So probability that A wins, that is obviously greater than the probability that B wins. Since why B, since why A has, since why A starts the game, starts the, um, means A starts the throw of the, die. He starts the throw of the die. So it means from here we can see that the team who will start the the throw uh, it that team will have will have a greater chance to win the game. Okay. So from here we can see from here we can see that the team among A and B, the team among A and B, who will start, will start the throw of the die, will start the th throws of the die, will have, will have a greater probability, will have a greater probability, greater probability of winning the match of winning the match hence the decision of the referee is unfair therefore the decision of the referee is unfair in this case so this is the final answer thank you